Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, we've seen some fast paced changes across the area today. You know what? We started the day with some clouds. Some of you had storms. Most of us started out on the muggy side, but now we're all able to take a big deep breath. A nice refreshing air mass has settled in. It's going to be a nice looking evening around here. Humidity levels have dropped. Temperatures are still warm, but because the humidity has fallen off, it feels a lot more comfortable out. Showers and storms from earlier this afternoon that brought some severe weather in our southernmost communities have now dropped all the way down into central and southeastern Kentucky tonight. All the storms have now pushed well to our south and east past the Lexington area and even better news here over the past couple of hours. Look at our dew points out there after being very tropical in the oppressive range. The first half of the day, really those numbers have completely fallen off. I mean, look what's happened here between one o'clock in the afternoon and four over the past three hours. We have seen quite a drop in the humidity levels, and that's why it feels so much better out there right now with those dew points in the low 50s. Our air very pleasant despite the fact temperatures are still on the warm side. So it's a great evening for doing anything outdoors. It's going to feel better underneath some warm sunshine with temperatures hovering in the 80s between now and about 9 o'clock. All right, so we had this cool front come through early this morning. That's what triggered the storms overnight and thus the storms earlier today. That's continuing to drop off to the south. However, our weather is about to get very active again, especially as we head into tomorrow night. While it looks fairly benign right now, see these pairs of severe thunderstorm watches up here in the Dakotas. This is another potent storm system for this time of the year, and it is going to come screaming in the direction of the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes tomorrow, bringing with it a renewed threat for some fairly strong storms. Storms. No problems overnight tonight. You'll sleep easy. No worries about the weather tonight, and you'll even get your morning commute off tomorrow on a dry start. However, I think showers and storms will begin to increase after about eight or nine o'clock in the morning, and it looks like we'll have on again, off again rain throughout the day. I'm not concerned about severe weather during the morning or daytime hours tomorrow. Unfortunately, a lot of this is going to be after dark tomorrow night. And while you try to sleep overnight Wednesday and the Thursday morning, I'll be keeping a close eye on thunderstorms dropping from northwest to southeast across the area. And some of these storms could be quite strong tomorrow night. Now we are under a slight risk for severe weather. However, that threat increases significantly as you head north of I 70 where you reach the enhanced risk. And then I think there will be some violent storms tomorrow from Chicago to Toledo. Don't use that word too often, but I think there will be some really nasty weather from Chicago through northern Indiana into northwestern Ohio, and we will be watching those storms tomorrow night as they begin to turn their way towards the south, and we'll keep a close eye on them because, again, we will be under the gun for at least some nasty storms overnight tomorrow while you try to sleep. So here's the threat. The greatest threat posed for many storms no doubt in my mind will be the potential for strong winds across the area, but all modes of severe weather will be possible. Damaging hail along with the threat for maybe even a few tornadoes tomorrow night across the area. So that's something we'll be keeping a watchful eye on. Tonight, though, no problems at all. 62 for an overnight low underneath mostly clear skies. And then tomorrow, rain and storms muggy. Remember, the severe threat really doesn't ramp up until after dark tomorrow evening. Here's your day planner. 65 for a dry start in the morning, and then showers and storms will move in mid-morning through the afternoon. We'll probably get a break in those storms tomorrow evening. There'll probably be a lull in which we'll have some dry weather. It'll just be muggy out before we see that second round of severe weather overnight Wednesday into early Thursday. Maybe a few lingering storms late Thursday afternoon in our south, but then after that it looks quiet heading into the weekend. Very summer like but comfortable. You like that timing again.